Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Judge, slick as a whistle, as usual. Good. Now get busy and have the brands changed. Right. And the situation is getting worse every day, Sheriff. This can't go on. Why, Chambers here's lost more than a third of his cattle. Jim will be broken another month if this rustling keeps up. You know, I've been pretty hard hit, too. You've got to do something about this. I'm doing everything I can. I want you all to know that I've sent for help. And if anyone can stop these rustlers, he can. And who might that be? An old friend of Joe's. The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid? Why, Joe, you must be out of your mind sending for that outlaw. Why, he'll clean you out worse than the rustlers. And he won't stop at cattle rustling, either. Now, you better not let that outlaw come into this country if you know what's good for you. Joe's my foreman. Whatever he says goes for me, too. All right. You're asking for trouble, and you're going to get it, too. And don't you forget it, either. How far are we have to went to find this place? Only 26 miles. Only 26 miles. You hear that, loco? See, why do we have to ride so far to look for trouble when we have plenty of trouble where we was? A little trouble here and a little trouble there. Yeah, a little trouble here and a little trouble there. You put them all together, they spell Cisco. <laughs> Come on. Andale. Okay, you know what to do, and I don't want any slip-ups. Don't worry.
That's them. I'm glad to see you as when I give my mother-in-law the measles. Now untie him. And do it quick. Get him up, Cisco. Hurry up, or I'll shoot. That's good work, Tom. Get it harsh. I thought you'd come back to help your pal. Would you mind telling me what this is all about? I'm going to take the two of you in for cattle rustling and the murder of Joe Dawson. Dawson? Why, man, you're crazy. Joe was one of my best friends. Now shut up and get going. Yeah, but... Now hush. Or I'll forget I'm a law man and gun the two of you down right here. See, you talk like a sheriff. I am the sheriff. Oh, yeah, I see your baggage. Boy, get it. Yeah, but I can't get up my horse with my hands tied. I'm tired. Yeah, I'll do. No matter what that message said, miss, I didn't kill Joe Dawson. Somebody framed you, I suppose. That's what happened. Well, you never make me believe that. Me neither. And what's more, I'm going to see to it that the both of you hang. Hey, Sheriff, don't say that. Without my neck, I can't swallow frijoles. That's too bad. You should have thought of that before you shot Joe. Thanks, Sheriff. Cisco, when you do that, you got something on top of your mind. You are thinking things. I'm not thinking, Pancho. I'm wondering. Wondering who framed us. Yeah, well, maybe it's better if you wonder how we're going to get on framed. That's a good idea. How is that, Pancho? That's wonderful. That's a good trick. Hey, how do you do that trick? It's easy. Anyone can do it, even you. You think I could? Of course. I'll show you how. You see? You hold the hat like this. Then with a quick twist of the wrist, you flick it. Like this. Get his key, Pancho. And it's come too.
Say, boss, there's something funny going on. What do you mean? I just saw the Cisco kidneys, pal. Come out of the sheriff's office, get on the horses, and ride out. If you mean they broke jail? Maybe. But that was right after Mary Austin and the sheriff had a talk. She must have convinced the sheriff that Cisco didn't do the killing. Well, that could be the case. That means the sheriff will be looking for the real killer. I don't like this, boss. Keep, keep your shirt on till I get the bottom of this. You know, I know Mary pretty well. I think I'll drop over there and pay her a little social call. Bunch of little. How did you two get out of jail? We well, were just like rolling on top of the log. We just walked out. We got out of jail to talk to you. Yes, Joe Dawson and I were friends. Good friends for 15 years. I didn't kill him. I'd like to get my hands on the one who did. Please, you've got to believe me. Well, I don't. I only believe what I saw. And what was that? The message that Joe scrawled in the ledger after you shot him, telling the sheriff that you'd done it. Well, how could he wrote that way he didn't done it? Yes. How do you know it was Joe who scrawled that message? Because the pencil he wrote it with was still in his hand. Like this? Yes, like this, you murderer. In his right hand? What difference does it make in which hand it was? Well, let me think. Joe was lying face down on the floor right there. The message was... Yes. It was his right hand. Exactly. <laughs> Right here. Keep your eyes open. She's going this way. In there. Come in. Oh, hello, Barry. Hello, Mary. I, uh... Is something wrong? Yes, Mary, I'm afraid there is. Uh, Cisco and Pancho are out of jail. You mean they broke jail? Yeah. Thought I'd better come over and warn you. Well, they might come over here. Well, if they do, I'll greet them with a rifle. Thanks for bringing me the news, Ben. Well, just be careful. You know, those men are dangerous. Goodbye. Hey, Pancho. Do you recognize that one she calls Barry? See, from El Paso. Where's Parker? Our horses are over there behind some bushes. Ah, so that's the way it is, eh? Well, I don't know how to take care of that situation. Come on, let's go. You can come out now. This man he calls Barry, who is he? Barry Owen. What does he do around here? Well, he's a rancher, the biggest in the county. <laughs> How you like that, Cisco? A leopard do change his dot, sir. He's a rancher now. <laughs> what do you mean? His name was Bill Stevens down in El Paso not so long ago. And not a very respectable citizen. But do you think that maybe he's the... Yes, I think he's probably behind this whole thing. Come on, Pancho.
Where did he went, Cisco? That's the quickest disappearing act I've ever seen. You didn't see anyone just pass by here, did you? No, can't say as I have. Matter of fact, you're the only man I've seen in over a week. You don't mind if we take a look around, do you? No, help yourself. Someone would like to see us dead. Yeah, but he is going to be the one to be dead as soon as we can get a hold of him. Something go wrong? Plenty. They got Kansas and almost caught me, but I gave them the slip. You dunderhead, he gave you something simple to do in your muffets. Cisco recognize you and expect a visit from him. Put the boys on guard. Hey, Cisco, why we stop here? The way to get into the rancho we're going to visit is, is over there. That's why we're going to look at it from over here. I thought so. Our wrestler friend from El Paso is expecting us. Just go look. There's a man we chase. How did he get on the ranch? We didn't pass him on the way here. Is this road the only way to get here? I wonder. Look, Pancho, here is the road, and the entrance to the ranch directly behind us is where we came from, and this man disappeared. You think there's some way to the rancho from uh, around there? Well, there must be, and we're going to find it. Jasper's doing here. What do you want anyway? You lied when you told us you didn't see the man we were chasing. And I don't like liars. I did, I... What's more, there is a way to get to the Owens Ranch from here. What is it? There ain't any way that I know of. Talk, mister, or Cisco get mad. And when Cisco get mad, Pancho start breaking heads. So you'd better talk. Let's have it. All right, all right. You find a little hidden passage right down around the bend there. You asked for it, mister, and you're going to get it until you start talking. I see it. Very interesting, Pancho. Tie him up. Bring the horses, Pancho. Oh, so that's it, eh?
Cut off their hands, quick! Those shots came from Hidden Valley. Get the boys and my horse. I'll lie down. Take a look at this, Pancho. Get to your horse. Hurry back, Cisco. And you too, Pancho. Someday, maybe. Who knows? Hey, don't take it so hard, Sheriff. It isn't our fault we didn't turn out as bad as you expected. Yeah, don't worry, Sheriff. If business is bad, we'll rob a bank for you sometime. It'll make you happy. <laughs> the only thing that'll make me happy is to see the two of you get out of town. That is the first music I ever hear come out of a sheriff's mouth. Pancho, what are you saying? How you have changed. <laughs> Let's go before I change his mind. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>